right. Uh, when I think of Dan, I think of shit face Saturdays in Manchester. <laughs> New Hampshire Freedom Folk gathering to honor yet another one of their own who has died. I feel so disgusted that Dan is gone. Of the roughly 1,100 free staters in New Hampshire, I believe at least about a dozen have left us that since 2003, and bearing in mind that early on there weren't nearly that many of them here. This service was for Dan Bridgeland, who died at age 32 for no apparent known reason in his sleep roughly a week or ten days after his brother. This death comes on the heels just about a month after Denise's death here. She died of cancer around May of 2013. My question is this. Is it normal for a group of, let's call it 700 people, because again, at, in 2003 there were only 30 of us here, uh, it averages out to about 700. Is it normal in a group of 700 people to have, you know, about a dozen deaths over a period of 10 years? I think it would be good if someone could run the stats. Because while all of these deaths may have been natural, normal, in some form or fashion, a lot of them are happening to pretty young people who are part of a movement that is making enemies. Enemies of people who are capable of killing us off in a manner like this. Whether that's what's happening here or not, we should be capable of detecting it quickly if it does. And the best way I can think of to do that would be, yeah, to, to be able to say, oh, look, the death rate is X, and it should be Y why or less the more capable we are of spotting death rate blooms the less likely there will be a death rate bloom caused by people now the other way that something like this could be become detected and maybe detected early on is uh, a repetition of what happened with some of the soviet uh, assassins uh, the way that we learned about these Soviet canes, you know, that had little points on them that would stick poison in you <laughs> as you walked past, the way we learned about that was by a Soviet defector, or at least a Soviet who uh, had pangs of conscience for committing some of these assassinations and either turned himself in or made an announcement or something along those lines. Well, that very well could happen with federals, and if you are a federal who does this kind of thing, well, I don't need to tell you what the right thing to do is. You know better than I do. I tend to think this is always the appropriate, or almost always the appropriate way to react to suspicious deaths. We should be asking questions, we should be collecting information or stats, honoring our fallen, but not assuming any conspiracy theories. No one else collects these stats in a scientific manner. I guess I'll go out and do the best I can in the most scientific way that I can. Eventually. Maybe. But there's someone out there who can do it better. They don't even have to be in New Hampshire to do it. Maybe that someone is you. You know, if you, just, if you, just, if you don't set it off, then why, then why should they have to... Why, why should there be a need to, you know... Um, Run, run random people through a body scan or pat them down. Birthday, Denise. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> and 